Let's now look at a situation whereby A and B are so far apart that the gravitational acceleration is no longer constant, and so you can no longer simply say that the difference in potential energy between point B and point A is simply mgh. So now we are dealing with a very important concept, and that is the gravitational force. You can think of the Earth acting on a mass, or you can think of the Sun acting on a planet, whichever you prefer. But that's what I want to deal with when the distances are now very large. Let me first give you the formal definition of gravitational potential energy. The formal definition is that the gravitational potential energy at a point P is the work that I, Walter Lewin, have to do to bring that mass from infinity to that point P. Now, you may say that's very strange, that in physics there are definitions which, where Walter Lewin comes in. Well, we can change it to gravity, because my force is always the same force as gravity with a minus sign. So it's also minus the work that gravity does when the object moves from infinity to that point P. I just like to think of it, it's easier for me to think of it as the work that I do. So if we apply that concept, then we first have to know what is the gravitational force. If this is an object, capital M, and you can think of this as being the Earth if you want to, and there is here an object, little m, then I have to know what the forces are between the two. And this now is, the, is Newton's universal law of gravity, which he postulated. Universal law of gravity. He says the force that little m experiences, this force equals, I'll put a little m here and a capital M here, so it is little m experiences that force due to the presence of capital M, equals little m times capital M times a constant, which Newton in his days didn't know yet what that value was, divided by r squared, if r is the distance between the two. This object, since Newton's third law holds, action equals minus reaction, this force, which is, I will indicate it as capital M, little m, it is the force that this one experiences due to the presence of this one, is exactly the same in magnitude, but opposite in direction. And that is the universal law of gravity. Gravity is always attractive. Gravity sucks, that's the way to think of it. It always attracts. There's no such thing as repelling forces. The gravitational constant G is an extremely low number, 6.67 times 10 to the minus 11 in our SI units, which is Newton's square meters per kilogram or something like that. That's an extremely low number. It means that if I have two objects, which are each one kilogram, which are about one meter apart, which I have now here, about one meter, that the force which they attract each other is only 6.67 times 10 to the minus 11 newtons. That is an extremely small force. 